Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the City of Healing. This is Sinet and Tur Angela. It's Thursday, beautiful morning. Wanted to come forth and just share a brief story, give some um, encouragement, bring some light, um, share my, my story of my documentation of my spiritual journey of this current state that we are experiencing. Um, it's all a beautiful experience. There's a divine plan in it, of course. And last night, this morning, confirmed that. Um, I used to watch Aphrodite Stone a lot, long time ago. I've even spoken with her, uh, shared some dialogue with her, had a reading with her, not saying that I encourage psychics. She's not a, what you say, a psychic, but she is truly gifted. Um, you, of course, have to be careful who you ask you know, or um, ask to invoke or conjure up the energy around you. You really have to be careful about that. Not saying that I encourage it or disapprove of it. Uh, some people are gifted and they use it for their good. I'll just leave it at that. But this morning when I got up, I always dream. But this morning I was like, ah. I can't remember. I was like, I know I dream. I was like, where is it? I couldn't grasp it. So some mornings I just sit there and wonder and ponder on it right till it comes to me like this morning. I'm not going to do that. So I did my routine. I um, did my exercise, my yoga, my meditation, <clears throat> had my tea, you know, and got ready for work. And here I am. And then, uh, I decided to go on YouTube just to see if I had any responses or anything or just to look. And I had a recommendations from Aphrodite Stone. It's like, okay, you know, I like her. I used to listen to her a lot. But this one she posted about four hours ago. And I was like, well, let me look at it. And it was uh, one of her songs. So I was like, so I'm going to listen to it. And as I listened to it, I was like, wait a minute. I started to remember my dream. And I don't remember the exact title of it, but basically it said something uh, like, you know, the storms may come, but there's a divine plan in motion, so there's no need for fear. I don't remember the exact title of it. And then I started to remember my dream. I was like, oh my goodness. But anyway, people were running to the woods and the forest in the back of my house and there was this beautiful woman elder that looked like Cicely Tyson people used to tell me I looked like Cicely Tyson I was like no way I'm not that beautiful but anyway um, they were running to the back of the house and you know being saved in the woods and I wasn't being a part of it I guess I was looking out the windows observing it and she was talking to the people. She said, it's deception, it's deception. She's like, you know, despite the deception, there's a divine plan in motion, fear not. I was like, wow. And people were starting to be healed. And this so-called virus situation isn't what we call like a common flu or, uh, or any of those cold symptoms or pneumonia, none of that. It was totally different. It was totally severe. And people were being healed right away when they started to believe that it was deception, it wasn't going on, et cetera. So it was a beautiful thing and people were bringing people in to be healed right in the back of my house. And I'm just observing and Cicely Tyson was there. It was real, I was feeling it and I know it happened. But people were starting to wake up and understand that they had the control, the power. And you know, it wasn't about you know, the world is coming to an end or mother nature or God is trying to punish us. Uh, punish us. It's about us coming into our own uh, power, our own uh, belief systems, our own spirituality. And it was, people were healing each other and themselves. And uh, it was a beautiful dream. I was like, you know, she posted this when I looked at it four hours and I was like, she was in my dream? What, what in the world? But anyway, it was very interesting uh, how these synchronicities sometimes just happen to 
go on like that with me. But I wanted to come forth and share that and encourage us to continue to keep the faith and be in control of our own mind. It's not about uh, the world coming to an end. It's not about nature or God trying to punish us. It's about us coming in control of our own minds, our own spirituality, our own thoughts, and our spirituality uh, coming in with nature, uh, being one with God, talking to God. If you pray, pray. If you meditate, meditate. But no, this is a divine plan. What it is, I don't know. Um, our ways are not God's ways, but, you know, man was put here, you know, to make their own decisions. If it was God's plan, you know, would it be like this? God is supreme. God is about love, right? Um, nature is about love. Nature is nourishing. She's not suffering. Uh, you know, she is real. She's around us. She's observing. She knows what's going on. She is not helpless whatsoever. Birds are still out. They are still blooming. They're still making holes in my house. Uh, the trees are still um, standing. You know, the sun still comes out, even though what's happening is happening. But nature is still here existing. But we are not. We are, some of us are in fear, but nature is not. They are not shriv shr um, shriveling up. Uh, they are still standing observing us <laughs> anyway that's my my take on it anyway thanks for visiting the city and i hope that you all have a beautiful day take care